I have a special guest sitting next to me right here. And, and I'm telling you, this brother knows how to bring a presentation because he has words of substance uh, for maybe like the 2.5 people out there who don't know who you are already. I'm going to go ahead and introduce to some and present to other Mr. Ryan C. Green. You know a question I hate? And it's a question that we've all gotten. You know, when you meet someone, generally they ask you, you know, your name, and they ask you where you're from. And then they, at some point they're gonna ask you, what do you do? Like, like that's the question, what do you do? Are they ranking in their head where they're gonna place you? Like where they're gonna put you in a level of respect, what you can do for them? You know, uh, you think about, cause if someone asks me, you know, asks you what you do and you say, oh, I'm a pediatrician. I say, oh. But if you say, well, I'm a pole dancer, they say, oh, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, and we've seen so many people who, who are frustrated in life, who are upset, who are unfulfilled because they spent their whole life chasing the right answer to that one question of what do you do? I, I just want to say a few words about Ryan C. Green. He is one of the people that we chose to be on the Leadership Experience Tour Big Stage. And today, he talked about being dope, being great, being great at what you do, being great at who you are. The message was absolutely phenomenal. He connected with the audience. He was engaging, he educated, and he was certainly entertaining. It was a memorable message. If you want someone to make a difference in your event, you should reach out to Ryan Seagram. And I guess just like I grew up in, in Baltimore, like the mean streets of Baltimore, right? Let's say so time, sometimes it was easier to find trouble than it was to find a good crab cake, right? Uh, I'm lying, I'm lying. I grew up in the suburbs. Like it was good where I grew up. <laughs> like I grew up on the street, but not in the streets, if that makes sense. So Hey, Ryan Green was just amazing, by the way. The whole Born to be Dope at the Leadership Experience Conference, when he got this talking about unapologetically great, I thought it was about me. But no, I quickly learned it wasn't about me, it was about what I could do for other folks. Hey, thanks a lot, Ryan Green. I appreciate it. That's Ryan C. Green, Born to be Dope. If you haven't checked him out, check out his website, borntobedope.com. Ryan, I'll see you at the next conference. Peace. Sean had moved in on my ground. And see, Sean was a little more advanced. Sean must have actually listened to his older cousin because Sean knew what to do with the young little ladies, right? Sean had moved in, Takiya had moved on, and I was sitting there all alone. That's when I learned this first lesson. If you move too slowly, someone else may take your girl. Now think about this and when we talk about leadership, moving too slowly in leadership. How many of you have a, a metaphorical girl that you've been working, thinking about, planning for, a move you wanted to make, a goal you wanted to achieve, something in life that you wanted to go after, but you've been moving too slow, and like, oh my God, that was my idea. And someone else took it. His speaking was amazing. If you missed it, I am sorry. I apologize. But listen, go watch the replay. Whatever he does, whatever he puts out, he's definitely worth every penny. Just employee, every one of us. I know brand is kind of cliche, but you all have a brand. You have a professional brand. Doesn't mean you're out there trying to sell something. You're not trying to, you know, be an influencer on Instagram, but you have a work brand. People, people talk, they have something that they say about you when you're not there. That's your brand. Now the question is. <laughs> His speech was incredible. Why? Because he said, you are born to be dope. Let me say that one more time. Born to be dope. Now, I don't think y'all got that. Born to be dope. So this man will get you straight, set you where you need to be, get him as your keynote speaker, because you will not be disappointed. As far as you can, one, two, three, turn around as far as you can. Now open your eyes. All right, turn back around. How many of you turned further the second time? Yeah, the rest of you cheated. So, <laughs> I know, I know. So listen, what I showed you right there was the power of imagination. The power of imagination. See, the first time I showed you turn around, all you were thinking about was that bad back. You was like, oh no, well, uh, Rapunzel's right there, I wanna hit her. You, you were like, no, this is too wrong. What is this man doing? I ain't turning around nothing. And you went as far as you wanted to go, as far as you could see yourself going. But the second you closed your eyes and took your eyes off the obstacles that were in front of you, once you imagined you were better, you were. Once you imagined yourself going further, you went further. Because you could, uh, you imagined it. That's it. 
So if nothing else, I want you to take with you today, imagine yourself being better after this weekend, imagine yourself going further, imagine you being a better leader, go out there and have the life of unforgettable impact, abundant fulfillment, go out there and be great and make it matter. I am Ryan C. Green, I want to thank y'all for your time.